What's up guys? Um, Neva here. So anyways, I really like exploring new things and discovering new things. And I also really like to share that. So I had the awesome chance to do exactly that. Basically, I did a science fair. Yes, I'm an adult, but the science fair was actually for adults, their kids, and pretty much just anyone who wanted to come. <laughs> So I put together like a trifold. I set up a little science station for the kids to like learn about things. Whoop, there it goes. They even got a special little something at the end of the fair. Good job me, I forgot it at home. Here's a photo. I got a chance to talk with all kinds of people. Kids of all ages, toddlers, school kids, high schoolers. There were also artists, businessmen, and fellow scientists. So this was also my first time trying to make a video. I didn't do a good job of trying to get good footage. But I tried, and that's what matters. Hopefully, you guys can kind of understand the excitement that I had. Having just such a wide variety of people at the science fair was really awesome because I got a chance to explain science and my research to people of all different kinds of backgrounds. This one student built an entire hive out of the Lego pieces, and so we started talking about the different ways pollination can occur. I also had a lot of people stop by and ask me about all kinds of different science experiments. For example, the ongoing experiment to rid the world of malaria via mosquito matings. There were so many people there. It was nuts. I've never done an event this big before. It was a lot of fun for me. I was able to talk to so many different people about science, biology, ranging in topics from medicine, food, bees. <laughs> I just really love doing things like the science fair because I get to talk with people not just about science but also what happens behind the scenes, what scientists do, what the day-to-day -day life is like, and have actual conversations. I hope that people learn from each other and make more informed decisions and events like this make science accessible to people who may have been excluded in the past. So the science fair had actual judges. They came to check out my booth, talk to me. We had a really great conversation about the importance of diversity and inclusion in STEM. People kind of tend to think about scientists in a certain way, but I'm hoping to show that we can also be people of color, people who like makeup videos, people who do yoga, or any number of things outside of the science. And I won a trophy for my work, whoops. <laughs> This is the first trophy I've ever gotten for science. I'm just so into this. I don't know, I mean, honestly, can scientists just start getting trophies if, like, a big name journal accepts us for a cover story or a cover image? Adding you, science and nature, that'd be great, thanks. So I realized that I didn't talk too much about the specifics of my booth and what I actually presented on, but that was on purpose and I'll actually be releasing a separate video to talk about how my research is basically playing with building blocks all day, so stay tuned for that. I kind of feel like there's this distance between most people and the way that research is done and studied and how results from the research are interpreted. But the more that we scientists can engage like formally in classrooms and talking to students, also informally through events just like this, through like blog posts, through social media, the more we can like decrease this gap between what we do in my lab and labs all around the world and what society as a whole just understands and talks about as well. To anyone who's interested in the science fair, learning more about it, feel free to shoot me a message and we can happily talk. This all would not have been possible without the amazing Heather Ann Cook with the Durham Hotel and the Iris, the artist. So I'm, I'm so, so thankful to have been given this opportunity. And I had a lot of fun working for the science fair and making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning a bit about my scientist lifestyle.